Hi there, I'm Ashley Mills and we're going to talk today about growing mushrooms so that you can grow mushrooms at home. So the first series of videos is about what are the things you need in order to grow mushrooms. Well first of all, to grow mushrooms you need mushrooms. Or you need their seeds which are called spores. So there's four primary ways that you can get the kind of seeds of mushrooms in order to grow mushrooms. The first is to get their spores. So this is a wood mushroom. I took a wood mushroom and took a spore print. And you can see this is dropped from the gills. If you imagine the gills underneath the mushroom cap. And there we've got a spore print. That is millions and millions of spores. These are tiny microscopic, essentially seeds, except they um, have, um, they're kind of fertilized in a way after they germinate. But that's not important right now. So spores is one way you can grow mushrooms. Typically, you're not going to be able to use spores directly. What you might would do with spores is turn them into a spore syringe. Now this would be water with spores suspended inside them. This will typically be done under sterile conditions by the person that makes the spore syringe so that you can just inject this into an already sterilized substrate and you won't have any contamination problems. But you can make your own spore print, uh, spore syringe from a spore print if you want. And you can actually use spores en masse to inoculate a substrate. But it, probably the best thing for you to do is to get a spore syringe. You can buy these on eBay or from various suppliers. And you can buy lots of different types of mushrooms um, in spore syringe format. If you don't want to start with spores, so if we say that spores are equivalent to seeds, the next level up would be spawn. And this would be like seedlings. So this is an example of some spawn. And this was bought, bought from mushroombox.co.uk. And you can see that it's, it's mycelium, which has germinated spores in its hyphal format, which has colonized a bunch of substrate. In this case, it's some kind of wood chip or sawdust or something like that. Here's a different type of, um, this is some reishi spawn. So this is a millet or some other type of grain. And the, the mycelium has colonized the grain. So you've got a living mycelium on there. This is actually living mushroom tissue. I and mean, I store it in the fridge. It lasts a long time in the fridge, even a couple of years. It kind of sort of lies dormant. And then you can use that to inoculate your growing medium. So that's kind of a second... Um, way that you can get the the beginning the kind of seeds for a mushroom here's uh, some mushroom spawn from wine cap mushroom which i've inoculated onto rye and so this is uh, already a jar that's been inoculated and grown through the rye it's very very old actually and i need to move this immediately or very soon otherwise it will die off so that's another way or kind of a variant on spawn is when you've expanded your own spawn onto another substrate and then you can use that. The third way in which you can get, get mushrooms in order to grow mushrooms is you use what's called a liquid culture. Now this is what happens, I haven't got an example here, but this is if you inject spores into something like honey liquid that's been sterilized, the mycelium will grow suspended in liquid. And this is a very good way to inoculate a substrate for growing because it spreads already living mycelium throughout your growing medium. So liquid cultures they're called and you can find those for sale as well. Now the fourth and final way you can get mushrooms to start your mushroom growing operation is from mushrooms. So this is a dried mushroom that was taken from the woods and we've got a whole bunch of dried mushrooms up on the shelf here, which we collected from the forest. And it turns out the mushrooms have this amazing property when even though that they're dried out, you can take a, a little cut, cutting of them and clone that mushroom. So the mushroom body itself is made of the same white fibrous material, the mycelium that goes underground, that forms the hyphal threads that link everything together. And you can take a little piece of that, transport it into your growing substrate or agar, and it will actually grow and turn back into the kind of mycelium that, that we see here, this kind of white stuff. 
So it will turn back into that, because it is that anyway, but it will go back into that form. So you can actually take mushrooms that you already have and grow mushrooms from that. So, in summary, the four ways in which you can obtain mushrooms in order to grow mushrooms are spores, which are like the seeds, spore syringes, which are just a spore suspended in liquid, you've got germinated spores in liquid in a, in a kind of nutritional growth medium, which is called a liquid culture, then you've got your spawn, which is germinated spores that's grown into mycelium that colonize uh, something like grain or some other substrate. And finally, you can actually have mushrooms. So that's all the four ways you can get mushrooms to grow mushrooms, and hopefully that's useful. In the next video, we'll be talking about what you will grow mushrooms on.